Hi, this is Joe Biondo, and today I'm going to show you how to create a transparent image using the object selection tool. Let's get started. Okay, for this exercise, we need to open up um, the next set of images. Um, so we want to go to open um, in exercise seven. We're going to click on doctor, O2 doctor photo, and O2 hospital photo, right? So if you remember, if you hold if you click on one and hold control, you can select them both. And then when you have them selected, you hit open. That's here. There you go. So let's make sure we're working on the doctor photo. So if you remember when we did the magic wand uh, tool and made that transparent, we just used the magic wand tool and clicked on the color. And then we just deleted and we made a transparent image. So, but not all images have a solid background where you can use the magic wand tool and um, just delete the background. So this one, it's a little hard to see, but it, it's kind of have a gradient on it. It's like a darker blue up here in the corner and it gets lighter as we get closer to the, the doctor. So if I try to use the magic wand tool, like we did, and I click on it, you can see that it doesn't make the selection around every everything around the doctor. And so that would, be, that would be difficult to try to continue to click around and get all the pieces that you need to delete to make this image transparent. So there's a different way to um, handle an image like this, okay? So similar to what we did with the magic wand tool, we need to make ourselves a duplicate of the background. So we're gonna go to the background layer. We're gonna go right click, duplicate layer, background copy. Okay, so you have your background copy. And while you're on that layer, we're gonna go over to where the magic wand tool is and we're gonna left click and hold. And we're gonna pick object selection tool. Okay, and so we're gonna make a box around the doctor. Um, so by left click and make a box around the doctor like that and then let go of your mouse. And so now Photoshop is detected this object on the screen and put the selection around it. Now, if you hit delete on this, it's gonna delete the doctor and not the background because you're selecting the object and not the actual background. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure, we wanna make the background to be the piece that we wanna delete, not the doctor. So, the, so what we have to do here is we got to go select up at the top here, select, and then we're going to do inverse. Okay. And so now by selecting inverse, that means instead of having the doctor be the, the part that we want to delete, it's going to select all the background here. So while it's selected, you can go and click the delete button. Okay. And then you could do select, deselect. Right, and then go back to the background layer here. Whoops, um, the background layer, and take the eyeball off. And there you have, you just made another transparent image out of a graphic with a kind of a tricky background. Okay, so um, to retain the transparency of this image, like I mentioned in the magic wand photo, is this image must be saved as a PNG file or ping. And the way you would do that is file, save as, and then you change your type to PNG, okay? And then you save that as a PNG. And then you could use that image in PowerPoint or um, a website, anything that you want. You could drop it on top of any type of image and the background will be transparent. You'll just have the um, you just have the doctor here. Okay. Um, but you can also just use it right here once you make her transparent. So I have this hospital image up here. Now I want to bring the doctor and put her in front of the hospital. And so I'm going to use the move tool right here at the top. And I'm going to left click, drag the doctor up to the hospital and let go. And now I have, and now I have my doctor in front of the the hospital and so that's a, that's a, another way to create a transparent image and actually that's a way to create the transparent image using the object selection tool
Okay, so um, we'll talk to you in the next lesson.